Food safety has been a problem around the world for a really long time now, especially with the bovine growth hormone that is injected in cows, possibly making the risk of harming them much greater as well as causing them to develop serious infections. The article Bovine Growth Hormone states that the bovine growth hormone is a synthetic hormone that is injected to cows to make them mature at a much faster rate, as well as to increase milk production. The article Bovine Growth Hormone also states that cows treated with the bovine growth hormone have shown higher incidence of mastitis, which is a bacterial infection of the udder and therefore require antibiotics more often than cows not given the bovine growth hormone. Okay, well we're going to perform a California mastitis test on this cow. Uh, that's going to test her to see if she's got subclinical mastitis and it'll look for any uh, quarters that are about 400,000 or more uh, in terms of cell count. So it's useful in herds that don't milk record. What we're going to do is use the paddle, uh, which has got four little wells. We can collect a milk sample from each quarter into that and then we need some of the reagent handy, which is a detergent type reagent. So the first thing we'll do is get some milk from each one of the quarters. So we have the milk from each one of each quarter of the cow. Uh, we know which one they responds to which quarter because we watched when we were doing it um, and made sure from the direction we've done it that we can record which one's which. We can then tilt the paddle over so that we've got three mils left in each, which is shown by one of these lines marking the graduation on both sides. So we know we've now got an even amount. And then we get the reagent, add the same and equal volume as the reagent as the milk. So we swirl this round and what you're doing is looking for a gel type reaction. You can see that in here these have all gelled up whereas this one looks more milky and is easier to move, swirl around the paddle. So these three are going to show up positive reactions which means they have a cell count in the region of 400,000 or higher and this can form the basis of either our treatment or our sampling that we might want them to go ahead and do for the cow. Do you know what the bovine growth hormone is? Um, not really. I think I may have heard of it once, but I really don't know what it is or what it does. Where may have you heard of it before? I don't know, maybe an article I read or something, something in the news maybe. Don't really know much about it, haven't heard much about it. It doesn't you, seem to affect me. Are you aware that the bovine growth hormone can potentially be in the milk that you consume? Um, no, I didn't know that, but I don't really like that. I wouldn't want to drink it if it could be in the milk that I drink or in anything I eat. Um, in the future, if you plan to have kids, how do you feel about your kids potentially consuming the bovine growth hormone in the milk that they drink? I wouldn't want them to drink it because it could potentially harm them and cause them to have birth defects, well no not birth, health defects and cause them pain in the future. I mean, you wouldn't want to subject your kids to that. Okay, finally, what do you suggest as a proposal of fixing this problem of the bovine growth hormone? I would say not using it altogether because it's it's harming us, it's harming the cows. There are so many health risks that seem to be associated with it. Why would we want to continue doing that when we can find other, safer methods of getting more food for the exponential growth that humans are 
scrolling app, I guess. I mean, I don't think it's really necessary. We can find other ways to fix the problem while not using harmful chemicals and hormones and that. According to the website article about synthetic hormones, even though cows are developing mastitis, the bovine growth hormone can lead to economic benefits and shortens the time the animal takes to mature, which can lead to a 15% increase in milk production for farmers. But if people could choose to drink organic milk or milk without hormones, with the exception of how much it may cost, the hormone-free milk can help with one's health and in time, it will also shed light on the harmful injections of the bovine growth hormone that's given to cows.